morning everyone happy Monday it is Monday January 30th I am actually in a dress today which means my legs are going to freeze but today is gonna to be the warmest day of the week at 76 so I thought I would wear this dress that I have not worn yet and I feel pretty cute even with the glasses that I'm not crazy about Anyway, um, so I tried to get up a little early this morning to be on more time and maybe get a few things done. I am going to be on time. I'm not getting anything extra done. So whatever, I am on the way to work and I will show you what I'm eating for breakfast, lunch, and snack right now. For breakfast this morning, I am having a one Smart Point cup of coffee. It's going to be one tablespoon of this International Delight Sugar-Free Caramel Macchiato. One tablespoon is one Smart Point. And then I'm also having one tablespoon of fat-free half and half for zero Smart Points. So my coffee will be one Smart Point. Bringing my water bottle today, try to fill and have at least one of those, which I know is not much but it's a lot for me i am having peanut butter banana oatmeal um, so i've got a quarter cup of oatmeal in here for two smart points a half cup of almond milk for zero smart points one tablespoon of raisins for one smart point and two tablespoons of pb2 for one smart point also some uh, two packs of sugar-free or two packs of the little sweetener um, so that is four smart points total in the jar and then I have my banana to add to it at work so that is let's see that's four that's five um, smart points for breakfast for lunch I'm having my one point wrap one point filet extreme wellness wrap one smart point one craft singles for zero smart point the fat free craft singles I have five slices of turkey breast for zero smart points, a teaspoon of relish for zero smart points, jalapeno mustard for zero smart points, and a few slices of apple. So the wrap is one smart point. I'm also having some pinto beans. I have a half a cup of pinto beans in some broth for like a soupy kind of mix. Half a point of pinto beans is three smart points. And then I have some sugar-free jello for zero smart points. So lunch altogether is four smart points. And then my snack today is going to be an orange um, and some grapes. So I have five, four, nine smart points so far for my day. Hi guys, just doing my first walk break of the day. Um, Taking a break from work. It's been pretty intense, lots of stuff to do, but my main boss is out today working from home, so that's good. A little less stressful. Just have a lot to do to still catch up from last week from being gone so many days, and there was a glitch in my email, so I lost a bunch of it, and anyway, just business as usual. It is 76 degrees out, it's wonderful feels so good. I just want to lay on one of these park benches and take a nap. Um, I plan to take a walk at lunch also. I may be walking with a friend of mine from work. If so, I will not be filming. I also plan to do my afternoon walk break and I also I'm going to run five miles after work. So. That's the plan anyway. Um, I really have so much to do at home that I should only run four miles, but I feel like I want to pump things up a little bit because last week was just such a crazy weird week. I want to really get firmly back on track and I know a good run will help. So that's my deal for the day. I had my oatmeal for breakfast. It was very filling. Haven't had the banana yet. Um, not drinking any water yet, <laughs> not thirsty, and yeah, that's all that's going on here. I'll talk to you guys in another little while. You guys, Facebook is so emotionally draining right now. Like, 
I want to be done with it. I want to disconnect, but I also want to have a voice too. I want to stick up for what I believe in too. And I also really, really want to see what my kids and my grandkids and my friends and my family are all doing. But I'll tell you what, I am just like, is it even worth it? Like, there's got to be a better way to put my voice out there because Facebook is just ridiculous right now. On a better note, I have gotten several compliments today about my dress, which is really cool for three reasons. Number one, because it's a sweater dress. Can you see? Like, you can't. I'm sitting down, so you can't really see a lot of it anyway. But sweater dresses are traditionally tight and clingy, so that's scary. Number two, it's a size small sweater dress, so that's good too. And number three, maybe the best reason that th those are such good compliments is because I have no spanks on underneath. Woohoo! None. Yeah. TMI. Um, I do have underwear on. That's about it. Anyway, um, <laughs> so I went for a walk at lunch with a couple of co-workers, which was really great and really refreshing. Liz, if you're watching this, you did an awesome job. Thank you so much for going with me. It was so fun. Um, but I'm also excited about that because um, I had talked to Jess from Weight Watchers Journey to Healthy about wanting to start a wellness program at work. It's actually on my goals list for my job for this fiscal year. So I wanted to start some sort of walking slash wellness program and um, lunchtime walks are actually the first step in this. So I have a couple of interested people, which makes me excited. And it was a fun walk. We went, um, we went two miles instead of my usual three, and I'm totally okay with that because um, I'm still doing my two break walks, and I'll be running five miles, hopefully five miles, after work. So yeah, it was a great lunchtime activity. Uh, yeah, it's been a good day getting stuff done um, kind of just petering out a little relaxing a bit oh there's some weird animal over there it sounds like a dog being choked on a leash but I don't know what it is it's a squirrel in the tree I don't know what it's doing Ooh, it's freaking out at me. Hmm. Hope he doesn't come over here. Anyway. He's mad at something. I'm gonna go investigate. He's like, nothing to see. There's nothing wrong here. Um, there he goes. He was like growling. I've never heard a squirrel growl. Um, So excuse the wet hair, I just got out of the shower. I had a really awesome run tonight. I did do my five miles. I did them at 7.2 miles an hour. Yeah, so the whole time, 7.2 miles an hour. So I'm inching closer to my goal, which is 7.5 miles an hour. And I added an extra mile because I usually run four miles and tonight I ran five miles. I also did my 10 minutes on the rower. I made a concerted effort to really focus on my arms while I was doing it and also on contracting my abs. So it was a productive night. I was a little tired after work. Um, was worried about getting the workout in but I did it and I feel great. I pushed myself and I feel like my body did a great job. So it's time for dinner. Let me show you what I'm having. Dinner for me is leftovers tonight. I'm having this small baked potato and I'm going to top it with this leftover chicken stew. There is about two to three ounces of chicken left in it. I'm going to have that chicken right there. 
Um, and then there's butternut squash and some chicken broth. Um, so let me show you what it looks like after I top it up. Okay, and now you cannot see the potato anymore, but the three ounces of chicken is there. I believe it's two to three ounces, so I'm counting two smart points for that. The rest is butternut squash and vegetables, and I'm counting one smart point for chicken broth. So that is three smart points plus four smart points for the potatoes, so seven smart points total. And I am having that with a glass of red wine, which is here for seven smart points. Okay, you guys, so tonight I need to make some chocolate medallions for my birthday order that is due on Saturday. So we're going to make chocolate medallions in this uh, mold here. It's just basically six circles, which are about the size of Oreos. Um, I'm making the chocolate molds tonight, the chocolate medallions, and then I will be decorating them tomorrow. So what I'm making is Peppa Pig medallions, so um, 16 of them. Eight of them will be sun, eight of them will be clouds, and eight of them will be dirt. So for the sun and the clouds, I'm going to make blue sky medallions, so I need 16 blue sky medallions. And then for the dirt, I'm going to make a light, like a light chocolate brown kind of dirt, and then I will paint some more dark brown dirt on top. So I'm going to start with the blue sky medallions. So I'm using these blue Wilton candy melts. Um, I'm going to need to melt them in the microwave. So I just put them in any old plastic cup that I have. Um, the plastic cups work the best. I fill it all the way to the top. I know this is kind of gross, but you need to also use some Crisco. Because we're using, um, we're just doing chocolate to the chocolate molds. It's not as important, but the Crisco actually helps it melt easier and smoother. So I'm going to add Crisco, but if you are making cake pops, I, I have to tell you that the Crisco is an essential ingredient. If you're going to use Wilton candy melts, they are way too thick to make with cake pops. So you really need to add shortening to thin out the chocolate and make it easier to dip the cake pops. So I'm just making the chocolate medallions, but I am still going to add some shortening so that the chocolate is smoother and it melts easier. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon of shortening and then pop this in the microwave. So I melt the chocolate at 30 second intervals in the microwave. So it's basically melt, stir, melt, stir, melt, stir until it's nice and smooth. This has been 30 seconds only. I'm using a chopstick because I find that it's easiest to get to the very bottom and really stir up the chocolate well with a chopstick. <laughs> so I'm going to stick this in the microwave for at least another 30 seconds and probably more. I will do 30 seconds stir, 30 seconds stir, and 30 seconds stir until it is the right consistency. Okay, here is the melted chocolate and I actually added another teaspoon of Crisco to the chocolate so that it would pour easier. It's nice and warm. Um, the one danger, I, I love the Crisco, especially if you're making cake pops, but you do need to be careful and not add too much because if you add too much, then the chocolate will not set at room temperature and then you just have like messy treats. Messy, messy. Okay, so next thing we need to do is pour this chocolate into the molds. And I don't know if I can do this on camera, but I will try. So it's not actually that difficult, but you just want to make sure to get enough, but not too much. It's going to leave like a little pile. <laughs> Sorry, I'm concentrating. It's going to pile up a little bit like that, um, but that's okay because I'll show you what we do next to kind of fix that. I have a mold that makes six medallions and I need two dozen of these tonight. So I need to do four rounds of this. So this is getting 
getting a little thick at the bottom. There we go. Just needed to be stirred a little bit. And the last one. Okay, so then what you want to do next is we're going to even it out. So you need to just tap it on the table a couple times and it will make them nice and flat and even. So it looks like I may need to add a little more to this one and this one. So I'm going to add just a little bit more. You want them to be the same size, but you don't want them to overflow either. So I'm going to try tapping it out again. Try to make it as smooth as possible. And it looks like that's as good as it's going to go. So these, you can see, you know, there's like a little little lumps or whatever, these will be the back, so I'm not too worried about that, but again, you just want it as smooth as possible. So I am going to stick this in the refrigerator. Actually, for the sake of time, I will probably put these in the freezer and I'll be back with you as soon as they are set. Okay, it has been half an hour and I just took the chocolate mold out of the freezer. So um, the chocolate is firm, it should be ready to go. I'm not sure if I can do this one-handed, but what I need to do now is just tap this out onto the table to get the chocolate to release from the mold. So, let's see what I can do. Maybe if I just, oh, ta-da. So there are our chocolate molds. So um, this is the side I'm going to decorate. So they're all nice and smooth, and you can see it's just, it's a big chunk of chocolate, which is exactly what she wanted. So this is what I will decorate. It's nice and shiny and smooth. And now I need to do that three more times. So I'm actually going to do one more batch tonight, a batch in the morning, and then probably one more batch tomorrow while I decorate the first few. So here are my six chocolate medallions of the night. Like, don't stress yourself out and work too hard, Julie, right? Anyway, they are perfect, and I'm going to do a few more before bed.